All right, so I got stranded in Vegas on my way to move to LA and I'm gonna live it up. So I decided to book my flight later. Unexpected trip to Vegas. Let's go. First of all, of course, room tour. I mean, look at this bathroom. <laughs> Let me show you the amenities. Okay, so we've got this tub. Honestly, not that amazing. I won't be using that. But the shower. Okay, we've got some. This actually has a really amazing water pressure. I feel like I'm doing an ad. But it's, oh my God, I love. We've got some products over here. Ooh, fancy. But this, this is the fanciest part. I'm talking squilliam fancy sun. Get ready for this. <gasps> a toilet. But okay, in its own private room. <gasps> you can call someone? Hey, I need some paper towels. Also, I got kind of lonely in there. Just wanted to see if you wanted to chat. <laughs> Clearly, I do not find myself in nice hotels often. <laughs> They're not complimentary, but still. Fancy. I could have shown you this before I dirtied it up with my stuff, but oh, look how pretty. I love it. And the window has this reflective thing on it. You can tell I don't get out much. Like this to me is really exciting. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> I always wake up with the bed made. <laughs> Here is our view. As you can see, it's a desert and the pools are basically empty, which is very sad. I wanted to go hot tubbing, but that's probably not gonna happen. But yeah, the airport is right there. Last night they wanted 41 doll hairs for an Uber. I said, no, thank you, ma'am. I took a taxi for 20, which is still it's five minutes. It's a crime. Anyway, it's 10.40 AM. Let's put some makeup on this face and let's tour the Vegas Strip. I'm gonna do a makeup story time, you know, like the main character ones, if you know, you know. But for this vlog, I'm gonna do an amazing makeup transition. Ready for this? <laughs> and she's ready for the day. Wow. Fit check. Everything else I have is pajamas and workout clothes, so this was it. I scarfed down that food like a gremlin. I have never eaten faster. I was starving. I realized I hadn't eaten since seven o'clock yesterday. It was around like 12.30, so I was like, oh. Anyway, I am still like, like I could fall over any second, so I really can't have caffeine, but I'm gonna go get some Starbucks. I am double fisting these Starbucks. The woman I was talking to, I was like, I love your dreams, we're having a conversation. I watch her take my drink, I'm like, cool, 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 cool. I tell the guy, he makes me a drink, and I'm like, that's not for me, but it has my name on it. Turns out we have the same name. So, <sighs> double Starbucks. I'm not even supposed to have caffeine. When in Vegas, baby. You're like a wild beast that cannot be tamed. I saw Egypt. I saw the Titanic. Well, actually, I didn't go in either exhibition, but I decided I can only do one of these things, all right? Because I am not a Kardashian, and I knew which one I wanted to do. Shark reef. <laughs> Back to the same window I was earlier in the day. I just finished the shark VR experience. It was just really great. It was just really funny because, all right, they're like, sharks are really actually calm creatures and they don't want to hurt you, whatever. And they're like, but if they do come at you from behind, they will kill you. And I'm like, mm hmm. Okay, contradictory. Right now, I am Starvinia. That's what I call starving. I like to say things that aren't real words. I don't know. I just thought of Seuss, I guess. But. That caffeine that I had earlier that I never have, I was a happy, bubbly gal, and now I am crashing. I kid you not, my legs were trembling waiting in line for this VR experience. So let's get something to eat. I couldn't give you the details about the food at the place. It was kind of dark. It's not the best lighting here. But anyway, I'm at the airport. It's probably like 7, 20-ish p.m. Of course, my flight is delayed. 
again, but it's fine. I enjoyed my time. Four Seasons Hotel, if you were watching this, love you. You were amazing. The customer service, they're not paying me to say this, um, but the customer service was just top notch. Okay, everyone was so lovely. I also am a chatterbox and everyone was like very genuinely engaging me in that. And for that, I thank you. Anyway, uh, the next time you see me, I will be in my new apartment. So I'll show you then. Wow, guys, this is my first look at where we're living. And let me tell you, paradise. This is where all the celebrities are. It's gated. <laughs> ah! Okay, so we've got a pool over here. If you look over here, we've got some garages. It looks ominous, but you know what the best part about this? It looks like a retirement home community, and I've always wanted to live in one. <laughs> Guys, I just got here the first time, and this place has a secret sauna. Okay, this literally looks like Joe Goldberg lives here. <laughs> Why is this where he would keep his victims? Guys, I think it's even scarier with the lights on. <laughs> Lisa's about to be like, this is your room. It's day 97 and Lisa still hasn't let me out of the sauna garage. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my crib. Sorry, this, this is Lisa, hey by guys, the way. Welcome to my crib. She's my realtor. This is this is my room. This is Emily's room. I've got the Harry Potter sheet. Oh my god. I thought this was more. I could, oh, this is two. Yeah. Whoa. So you do share. You have a roommate here on the side. Um, okay, but guys, look how nice this is. Kitchen tour. This is HGTV all of a sudden. Guys, this is nicer than my kitchen at home. If my mom is watching this, no, it's not. Our kitchen is so much nicer. But like, look at this. I'm a fan of dark wood personally. And Lisa, hey. are you a fan of dark wood? I like dark wood. Perfect. Yeah. Sold. I'll buy it. Paris. A little taste of Paris. Emily in Paris? No. Emily in LA. It's a lot less aesthetic and I live much more frugally. And I don't think that's a word. And um, my outfits are completely free of cost. I don't pay a single cent for any of these. I'm not costumed. Um, but yeah, if you guys are wondering where I got this jacket, it's from Use My Code. No, um, I'm very excited to embark on this adventure. And before I let you guys go, because I know right now you're like, dude, this vlog is 20 hours long. Let me show you my room. So I said something that really weighed on my heart heavily. And she was like, how come you didn't show them the half bath? And I was like, oh my God, you're so right. So guys, this is our half bath. And this is Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is your top <gasps> Guys, this is really exciting. Hey, could you? <laughs> yeah. I got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Wait, this is a very, mm, this is very nice. Look at this, come, come see this angle. Oh, so I was like, mom, I'm admiring myself. <gasps> oh my God. Guys, look at what it is. <laughs> I'll live my makeup story time for you right here. <laughs> All right, let's check out the bedroom. Welcome to the content closet. We've got ring light and I don't know what that is. And, and a chair in the corner and Lisa. <gasps> Goodbye. <laughs> and this is where the princess sleeps. Most luxurious bedroom in the world. This air mattress, Costco. Yeah, I know your dolls. I was just on an airplane, so this is actually really gross. I don't know if it was hilarious or delirious. It was like watching a Teletubby going mad. And that's my house, guys. I'll update you later, but before we go, I need to do a Britney Spears turn. Oh, and also, subscribe to my Patreon if you don't. All right, bye, guys.